Hi, this is Kinsey Taylor, naturopath and owner of Taylor's Herbs in Oklahoma City with my ultra health tip of the day. I would say to try to live a lifestyle of 80-20, 80% wholesome, healthy choices, 20% have a little fun. Ooh, I love that. Okay, so Kenzie, you got introduced to Ultra Botanica several years ago by Dr. Brian Frank. Mm -hmm. And Adam and I discovered something six and seven years ago. Actually, his team developed this technology 10 years ago now, I believe. And they found out that the way they got curcumin into the body at these elevated, unprecedented levels into the bloodstream, this molecular curcumin that we call liquid protein scaffold technology, we found that it was a huge target for individuals that were dealing with daily mobility issues, with stiffness, with pain, with joint problems. And so I would love to hear how you have somebody that comes in. I mean, sure, you have tons of people that come in with pain. Let's talk about inflammation and how you deal with that in your practice and maybe how our products fit into that. Yeah, awesome. Uh, for one, I believe inflammation is the root of all disease. Ooh, what? Yeah. All of it. Well, we did have Shalesh Kaushal that said 99% of all human disease is inflammation based. So you're yeah. not, I guess, okay. We've never, we've never had always, below 90% no, that we have that question, have we, Adam? And I always say dis-ease, like D-I-S dash E-A-S-E. -E. So that Dis means not, not running around like a, and not being able to move and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're not in ease. You're not in ease. Okay. <laughs> That's easy. So, so uh, when you think not, about that. Not in right? homeostasis. Right, right, yeah. So when you think of it that way, when we talk about trying to find the puzzle pieces, well, inflammation is always a root, right? So yeah. a signal of, of something out of balance in your body, then what you're saying is if I'm feeling that discomfort, mm -hmm. you're, you, are, there, you're saying there are solutions then. Of course. And pain is actually a good thing. What? Okay. Okay, wait, because it tells us something's wrong. Uh, so it's so you look at pain as it's a uh, this is part of the it's puzzle. A right. Yeah, it's saying, hey, something's out of balance, something's mm -hmm. wrong. And our goal, again, is to find out what it is. And then here comes this amazing product. Oh, you're talking about our product? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and, and what was amazing to me with it was using the protein scaffolding instead of using black pepper, which could be mm -hmm. irritating to some people's stomach. Oh, yeah. Not only the, I mean, not only and that. And other things. And other things, yeah. Of course, yeah. but that was one of the biggest things I would get complaints on with other curcumin products I would use is it would upset their stomach or cause reflux. Oh, yeah. I have no issues with your product. No, it's, yeah, we never have stomach issues. I don't think we've ever had so, somebody have so, a problem. So I got to ask you, because Adam and I always ask people that call into our shows with, you know, okay, oh, what that, were you is... like before Ultra? What were you like after? So as a practitioner, this yeah. is so fun for me because we've never gotten to ask this question, Adam. As a practitioner, what was it like dealing with individuals that had inflammation, pain, mobility issues, joint pain, stiffness, uh, uh, mm -hmm. prior to UltraCur and after you got introduced to UltraCur? Yeah, so most of them, I mean, we had things that would help, you know, but when we introduced your product, we saw the biggest turnaround with pain and inflammatory responses in general. Whether we're talking about simple aches and pains, aging, which, you know, I think age is just a number personally. Right. Um, or you know, pain, trauma, things like that, but also major disease, you know, like we talked about inflammatory diseases such as autoimmune diseases. Um, but one of my favorite things I hear back from clients is I did not realize how bad I felt until I felt this good. Oh my uh, God. <laughs> oh, we need to, can we trademark that? Can we borrow that one from you? Yeah. Yeah. What was that again? I, I didn't, I can't just say it again. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize how bad I felt until I felt this good. Oh, wow. That that's, is so that, good. That's great. Yeah. So I, I, I usually ask people, mm -hmm. how long did, did it take for them to feel better? Mm -hmm. In your experience, if they're taking our original Ultra Cur, mm -hmm. how long should somebody wait to expect to feel some sort of difference? Well, I always say we're all individuals, so everybody's right. a little different, right? But I would say within the first week for sure. Uh, some like the first dose, just depending on what type of pain we're dealing with. Is it just from I tweaked my ankle to I you know, have a major disease. And so the, so the more complex the inflammatory response, maybe the slower the, the, the response would but be. But they still get improvement. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, oh, I couldn't walk up my stairs. Now I can. So on, on a scale of one to 10, it's kind of like one being, eh, it's a little bit of improvement. How much improvement could somebody expect to get? I mean, on, no joke, in my office, I would see at least 80% improvement. Wow. Like easy. Hands easy. Down. That's and that's a clinical assessment, not yeah. just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, so, that's... You, so you touched on something there, and, we, and I don't want to go over it. 
You know, we're talking about people with pain and stuff, but we also talked about autoimmune disorders and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm asking you the same question that, that Adam just did as when you're dealing with someone that has something like that, and it may have a manifestation of pain, but you know the underlying cause can create havoc in other areas of the body. Of does UltraCur also really fit into the profile of how you treat those individuals as well? And does it also create that improvement factor of shortening time periods for results? Of, of course. Wow. Of course. Yeah, near, you guys have such a great expansive product line too. You know, adding the hemp, the advanced, the immune, all, I mean, and then like I, or the animal one too. I, I can't tell you how many people are like, my dog could actually run and play fetch again. Isn't like, it cool? I mean, it's so fun. So, um, you know, broad spectrum use, but I would say most of my major conditions that we work with are on one of your products. That's amazing. Uh, wow. Easily that 80% number. You know, we only sell the clinical version, the Ultra mm -hmm. Cur Pro and the Ultra Hemp Pro to clinical pr practitioners. Right. And that's uh, four times more uh, potent than our original product. One of my Use, favorites. And, and it uses a different scaffold. I just want to remind our listeners that you can get free samples of our products online at ultratoday.com or go into any of the retail locations that we have in the greater Tulsa area, the greater Oklahoma City area, mm -hmm. in Tulsa at Aikens Herbs, Rock Creek Herb, and Sepulpa. Rock Creek Herb and Vitamin and Sepulpa, the three Aikens Health Food stores. You've got Billy's Health Foods out in uh, Bartlesville, and then uh, Next Generation Pharmacy. Next Gen RX is what it's called. It's kind of right there in the heart of Tulsa as well. Wow. But yeah, and just so many multiple locations from Norman to Moore now to Oklahoma City to Edmond and beyond. And you can get on our website and type in your zip code on the store locator and find practitioners all over the country like Kenzie that do these amazing things to uh, create a journey back to health for people. That's, that's great. So we're, we're back here um, at the Ultra Botanica Studios. Kenzie, we're, ta we're talking about inflammation and how inflammation affects different things in your body. You know, it's, a lot of times, though, you have, it's, it's good, people can self-diagnose, right, and, and say, well, it's just inflammation. But a lot of times, other things are going on mm -hmm. that predisposes them to inflammation or are, is not the whole story. Mm -hmm. But in a large part, inflammation can be the beginning of the story. Why should they come in to see a naturopath? Well, for one, we like to look at the body as a whole. So we look at diet, nutrition, we look at exercise, mobility, movement. We look at the spiritual, emotional, because I mean, emotional pain is real, right? So we oh, do absolutely. deal with that. And it, and it turns into physical, it turns into physical problems. Exactly, we're mind, body, spirit. And we look at that just like the way the creator made us in his image of Father, Son, Holy Spirit. and. Um, I think that's the benefit to coming into a store like ours is everybody's trained. So you don't have to just come in just to see me. You can see anyone in my staff and they'll be easily able to point you in the right direction to get you started. And sometimes it's just not obvious that the problem is inflammation. Right. Well, again, we're so used to labels. Right. That's, that's true. You know, so instead of just saying, Having labeled most of the things in this room, yes. Yes. <laughs> right, so we're so used to being like, well, I was diagnosed, or my arthritis. Oh, that co those kind of those labels. Those labels. Yeah. yeah. So, but the labels don't tell you unless you understand, like, if it's arthritis, itis is, means inflammation. Right. Or it's inflammation of the joints. Okay, but, like, most people don't understand that. So they're like, oh, it's just arthritis. And I'm like, well, yeah, it's an inflammatory condition. It could be a bacterial, it could be a, some sort of sure. viral, it could be autoimmune, right. could be damage, could be out of joint, could right. be all sorts of could be's, or right? Trauma, yeah. Trauma, yeah. But I would say probably the biggest factor for inflammation in our society in the standard American diet. What yeah. the sad diet? <laughs> is. Why? I mean, okay. I mean, let, let me play a little bit of a devil's advocate here. Sure. Why is fried food so bad for us what i mean it's so tasty <laughs> how long we do you want to talk about this? i mean you could go for hours i mean but subject. seriously i mean really what did i mean people say it's so bad for us uh -huh. why does it damage 
what is it damaging us inside? I mean, what is going on? It's not just fried foods. It's sugar. Sugar. Oh, don't say that. I know. Oh. The, the S word. Uh. Every everybody listening okay. now just kind of went. I think I'm going to turn the radio off. Oh, uh, but Sorry. hard truth. <laughs> yep. Hard okay, truth. but then there's artificial sweeteners. So are artificial sweeteners bad too? Worse. Okay, but I I really want to know why. Why? Why? Okay, okay, so let's let's talk about fried foods for a second. Okay, fried food. So for one, you're you're cooking in a grease or okay. an, a oil, a saturated oil that. Our bodies have a hard time processing anyway. Doesn't okay. recognize it, does it? No, so it's jelly. What's this? Yeah, so then you talk about like heart disease and cardiovascular issues and I mean, what is, what's the percentage, like half the population on a statin drug for high cholesterol? Yeah. All right, or triglycerides, which is a inflammatory marker, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, just besides the fact that it gelates, it gets hard, we don't know how to digest it, Think about how many people don't have a gallbladder because they can't emulsify their fats. Okay. So okay. these are all, and, and one of the big things I've heard about fried foods is that when you fry things, it oxidizes the oils. Oxidative stress. So, yeah. and those oxidized oils are actually the biggest culprit in our bodies for creating those plaques. Yep. Right? So mm -hmm. the oils aren't bad. Good no. oils are good. Natural oils, like pure pressed olive oil, I guess are really good. Huge. Coconut, coconut, Raw, organic, Black, coconut oil, chia, chia, wow. avocado. Is that good? Oh no, yeah. No, those, so these raw pressed oils are e good. Evening primrose, oh, oh, fried oh. oils, bad. Yes. Are there, are there any fried oils that are okay? Well, well, can Let's I try. say that? Can I can, <laughs> right, I, can I throw this try. in though? So coconut oil has a much much higher point of oh, being able to turn into something else mm -hmm. and so you can actually fry with coconut oil at low mm -hmm. temperatures mm -hmm. and not turn it into something that your body that's doesn't recognize okay. that's right well that yes. you know that's a that's something coconut we should oil's actually look the into. best actually in that regard it's got the highest point before it oxidizes oh that's that's really good to know josh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's my health to the that's day. your josh's health <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to you could saute Oh yeah. yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm talking yeah, about yeah, saute. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, yeah, frying. Yeah. I guess is frying. Okay, then, yeah. then there's sugar. Uh, Do we really need to talk about sugar? I mean, I think so. <laughs> so, I mean, well, what I tell my clients is some of the top inflammatory foods. The number one in my book is sugar. Yeah. Oh no. And it's not. People are like, oh, I can't eat fruit now. No, 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 no. Adam's so, thinking sugar. of exotic so things like baklava and stuff. It's like, yeah. oh no. No. Our, Claire's, come on. <laughs> so, fruits are okay. Oh my gosh, fruits are amazing. But don't they have a lot of sugar in them? But they have fiber and minerals and nutrients that our body craves. One of the things I've seen actually over the last couple of years is like with the keto diet, they're cutting out good fruit. Well, we're seeing major mineral deficiencies in a lot of these clients because they're not getting that mineral content. Oh, from eating fruit. Yeah. yeah. Now, I, I, I'm it's begging the question in my brain sure. here. Is there a real difference between organic and non-organic fruit? Yes. Okay. 100% well, my opinion. So uh, I got to tell you this weird Kenzie story and Dr. Frank. They're sitting together talking to one another and they're conversing about how they shop at the grocery store. Yeah. And they walk up and pick up things off the organic section even and they'll hold them up it's like nope not gonna work yeah. really yeah they're actually testing yeah, their as everything. they shop <laughs> it's we hilarious yeah i'm 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 uh dr frank wow. does it too this does is not he? a crazy thing we he does it all dr. the time frank in back yeah. back in here he's a great man he's a great man you know next time we're gonna have both of you Oh, awesome. on because I think you guys can really riff off of each other. Now you better give I, us like an hour to talk. An hour yeah, to talk. Right. So, so, so I want to put you on the spot, Kenzie, with something because I thought about this a little while ago. Off the top of your head, can you think of a success story? Obviously, there will be anonymity with one of your patients, but can you think of one of those things where somebody came to you, maybe they were a tired mom that had had two children, she's in her 30s, she's gained 50 pounds, she hurts everywhere, she can't sleep at night, and Give me a success story. Just just wing a success story for me of something like that. Man, like to narrow it down. Because you have, have so hundreds. I know. <laughs> I know. Um, I would say that's a great example. You know, you have a, most people hit that wall around that 30, 35 age, right? It's like I used to be able to eat anything, do whatever, and then all of a sudden I hit a wall, right? Yeah. And so that's when we see 
the years of maybe bad choices kick in and start causing pain. So I would say, yeah, that would be a great example of, you know, the average client that would come in around that age and just have those aches and pains, not being able to get on up and down on the floor with their kids as well, things like that, to, you know, coming in a couple of weeks later going, oh my gosh, I don't hurt anymore. Or like I said earlier, I didn't realize how bad I felt until I felt this good. Yeah. 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 That, that, that's, it, it's a, it's a beautiful, it's a terrible thing to waste your life in stiffness and pain yeah, and with, no an, and in dis-ease. Mm -hmm. Uh, do yourself a favor. Give a call to Taylor's Herbs. What was the phone number again? It's 405-722-7444. And the website? is taylorsherbs.com. And I have to mention real quickly, Adam, she, I asked her this before we got on the air today. She has people that come see her from not just this city, other cities, and even other states. What? International? Word of mouth referral. Actually, people yeah. come in to see her from other places because... What she does brings healing to people. Well, that's that's the key. Um, so, what is what's the Lord been showing you recently? I know you're you're getting ready to have your first child. Yeah. How yeah. awesome is that? So, yeah. anything that God's been put on your heart recently in today's? I think to not focus on all the distracting things we have and focus on His goodness because we have so many things pulling at us. And if anything, the last couple of years have taught us that we are really made for community it's really important you know what's really important in life mm -hmm. and so i would say right now would be not to listen turn the tv off you know <laughs> turn the radio off except for our show <laughs> <laughs> turn the news off because it's all these things that are just just weighing us down pulling us out pulling our eyes our focus back to earth and not keeping our eyes on him the lifter of our head and just realize that all these little nitpicky things that the enemy is using to distract us as a whole as a body of Christ, but to focus on all the goodness that God, I mean, you're, you're alive. You woke up today. Yes, gas prices are high. Yes, things are going on, but we're okay. Yeah. Right. And, that, and, we will I, be okay. and I think that can give us a heart of attitude where we can be useful in the kingdom of God rather than just yeah. um, a lump being annoyed by the things that we are need around to be us. set apart. That's good. Set apart mm -hmm. and made right. Yeah. Yeah. Hasn't this been fun today, Adam, with Kenzie Taylor? It's been great. Kenzie, would you mind coming back sometime? Of course. Uh, we'd love to see you again. This is um, this is Adam Payne. I got Josh Bellew. I have Kenzie Taylor here at the Ultra Botanica Studios. We'll be right back.